take some lady's fingers and wash them well, cut them about one inch pieces. Uh, take some peeled garlic, peeled ginger and some green chilies. Put them in the blender. Wash and clean some tomatoes and cut them up. Also add them to the blender. Now add some uh, ying on top of the tomatoes, uh, ying uh, or asphalita. Now we're going to add some uh, sabzi masala. I prefer Everest because it gives a very different uh, taste. And also add some turmeric also into the blender. We're going to give this mix a nice blend uh, till it properly pureed and keep aside. Heat up some oil well for medium heat and then fry the cut lady fingers or okra till they start to uh, shrivel up a little so they're cooked and the stickiness goes away. You peel some onions and slice them slightly thickish till you get a crunch. Once the okras are ready, we're going to train them out and keep them for draining to get the excess oil out. In the meantime, you can heat up a wok or a pan, and put some oil, let it heat up. Once the oil is hot, we're going to add some mustard seeds and wait for the mustard seed to splutter. As it starts spluttering, uh, we are going to add the uh, ground masala and tomato paste which we have made ready. Fry it and turn it around a little till the uh, oil and the masala gets mixed well and starts frying in the pan. Uh, now we are going to do a little different thing, we didn't add the onions before, we are going to add the onions now so that they remain a little crunchy and don't get overcooked. Now when you're making this bindi sabzi, you want to add a little extra onions uh, because it tastes good. Uh, a bit of a taste like go piyaza. And saute this around a little bit. Uh, now add Kashmiri Deghi mix which will give you slight spiciness uh, with nice color. Just the seasoning, add some salt as to your taste. Give it a nice stir and uh, keep sauteing till about the oil starts leaving the sides of the paste. This is the raw smell of onion, ginger and garlic uh, you know, will uh, go away. Now we are going to add the strained and drained uh, fried okra to the masala paste in the pan. Give it a good mix. sizzling over the pan, we are going to put the cover on and cook it for about 3 to 4 minutes. This will ensure that the masala paste uh, is incorporated into the okra. Now chop up some uh, fresh uh, coriander clean. And we're going to uh, just garnish, uh, give it a mix and uh, serve hot along with chapatis, tandoori rotis, whatever you prefer.